Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And as always, it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to talk about this uh, Spectrum Disney debacle. Of course, uh, Charter Spectrum was uh, ESPN got pulled off the air halfway through what was oh, it? All the Disney channels did. Yeah, but it was like through the, the U.S. Open or something. Yeah, it was like, the U.S. Open. There were some college football games. And instead of waiting till they were over, waiting till midnight, like September 1st at midnight. No, no, they pulled it in the middle. You know damn well it was intentional. And then they have the balls to tell us that say that well, Spectrum cared about their customers. They would have paid what we wanted. Yeah. If you gave a fuck about your customers, you wouldn't have shut down the stuff in the middle of the sporting events. So we're going to talk about this because uh, it's getting pretty, pretty nasty between uh, Disney and and uh, Spectrum. Now, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, things are a little bit different than there have been other carriage disputes. But Spectrum is alleging, I guess, that Disney is trying to force consumers to subscribe directly to ESPN and not use cable. So Disney wants to cut cable out completely. Yes, Disney's doing. trying to charge ridiculous prices so that they make it too expensive for customers thinking that Disney's the best, going to their channels directly is a better deal. And they put this uh, message out well, they basically blamed it all on on Spectrum, but the one part was funny. They're like, all the Earth, um, yeah, all the charter claims that they value their customers. They declined Disney's offer to extend yeah. negotiations. So did, they didn't give they they, they they claim they care about their their customers, but they didn't give Disney what Disney wanted. If they really cared about their customers, they'd give Disney their own way. Well, I would argue that Disney doesn't give a shit about their customers that are on Spectrum, or they wouldn't have shut it off in the middle of events. So let's let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Um, Disney stock not in a good place right now. Uh, this is now this is Labor that was Day. Right after they did what they did. Yep, and uh, I am pay it back in real time. I am really curious to see how this week is going to go for them because uh, well, this weekend or this weekend's. Uh, Destination D23. Yeah. So they're yeah. going to have announcements, but what are they going to do, you know? Well, well, this is what people are concerned about as a television. They're like, it, it looks like it's going to get uh, pretty, pretty messy with Spectrum. It doesn't look like they're going to um, resolve this anytime soon. Well, what gets me is like, the, the, yeah, they're literally putting out statements that it's okay. You want, you still want, you can, there's other options. You can go to Disney Plus with Hulu and 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 you get the the bundles and you get ESPN with that. And you can just subscribe to us instead. But then you're paying as much for just your damn channels as they would get, you know, for the whole the cable thing. And it's ridiculous expensive. We have Hulu with live TV. Supposedly ad free. Tell you for a fact, it's not ad free. It's not. Yeah. It, they run ads on other stuff. They oh, do my God. You pause ads. it, and they have ads, banner yes. ads on the and screen. And we are on the ad free. Yeah. It's ad free for some things. So yeah. that's bullshit, first of all. It started out as like $35 a month. It's going to be up to like almost, what, $85, $90 a month It's now. like $84 bucks it's or something. It's going to be jacked up again. Yeah. Um, and you just, you know, for their live TV, for the honor of having Hulu. And I'm like, so they're supposed to cancel this, the 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 cable they've had for years to go to Disney because Disney pulled an asshole move and it bit them in the ass. And they're trying desperately to get their subscribers up before the end of the, of the fiscal year. Yeah. So we're going to talk about this because um, this is coming from uh, fortune. Fortune said that uh, the cable cowboy spectrum stuck a dagger into the heart of Bob Iger. They said that this is the start of the big war between big cable and Hollywood. They need to. And yeah, like this is it. This is the end game. This always was the end game. The end game was we're going to basically we're going to get rid of cable and we're going to become the new cable. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. That's, that's what they're looking um, to do. You know, they're the, the claim they made that they had to charge more and, and significantly more to customers because the market value of Disney. Oh, hell no. The market value of Disney is in the fucking gutter. Look at what happened. As soon as they pulled the shit they did, they're, they're down significantly tanked more you can no way shape or form argue yeah. that disney's market value is high enough to warrant price hikes when you guys your your own disney plus isn't doing well and you keep having to go to advertising supported tiers nickel and diamond you're in lawsuits now over your shuffling of funds alleged, alleged shuffling of funds to make it look profitable but your market value for disney content was warranting a huge expense to these these cable providers and, and to the customers so you make more money market value my ass your market value is dog shit don't give me that you're worth more money because you're not i would love it if you pulled up your your stock app and it just 
had Disney and it had lo- like a little poop emoji next to it. Well, that's what it should say. With dog ears. It just it's worse. dog shit lowest, right now. Lowest stock price in 10 years. And if it drops below, even like in the 70s, it's going to go even you know, lowest oh, yeah, price and, yeah. you know, more than that. Because of their stupid ass decisions. Their stuff is not worth it. Market value. Market value this. You're just so full of shit. It's ridiculous. And this is somebody who, li- who liked Disney. Sorry. Tell us, tell us how you really I'm feel. I'm just so sick of this shit. I, at least when they pulled that. Well, 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 the market demands it. No, it doesn't. The market is not demanding Disney in general, which is why you're jacking the prices and everything, because there isn't demand. Yes. That's the problem. And ESPN was failing for years. Like, it's not, I mean, anyway. This is coming from Deadline. Disney tells Spectrum, now you'll see the arrogance here. Disney tells Spectrum customers, affected by charter carriage dispute, they have many options for TV yeah, service. Them. 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 This is what they said. This is updated. If you want to pay twice as much in five years. There we go. Yep. This is uh, updated Sunday. They said they're urging customers to explore switching uh, pay TV services if they want access to ESPN. So here we go. Yeah, you're giving the fingers. Consumers should also know they have many options today and can choose from competing pay TV providers. Yeah, that, pick somebody other than Disney. Yeah, that offer Disney's entire portfolio of networks and programming, as well as TV streaming services that can be accessed by downloading an app or over a broadband connection. Not mentioned is that Disney itself is one of those pay TV providers with Hulu Plus live streaming. Yeah. Now, what is being alleged uh, by Spectrum, as I understand it, is that Disney is trying to force everybody or all of their customers to just buy ESPN. Well, I'm thinking that's what's going on. They're not just ESPN. They're going to pull all the Disney channels, but trying to switch them to them because it's the end of the quarter coming up and they need those numbers. But not everybody can use broadband or the apps. Here's the thing. A lot of people live in rural areas and you don't, and even some, even, even more urban areas don't have internet connection that allow people to, to easily download stuff. So they have to use cable or something like that still, yeah. because I, I know, for example, my parents, they couldn't get internet signal to save their life. Like, it was awful out there. The download speeds were ridiculous. They couldn't watch anything on, like, you know, Disney Plus or Hulu or any of that stuff or Voodoo or all that because it would not download. So they had no choice but to go to cable. But I guess fuck those people because, you know, you, you need more money for Disney, right? And since everybody who watches cable are only there to watch Disney-owned channels, clearly... Clearly. Well, they said that uh, 71% of charter subscribers tune into Disney's networks. But what's interesting about this is, m- with the exception now, I'm not sure where ESPN is now, but a lot of their networks are in massive decline. Like Disney Channel went from being effectively YouTube, what YouTube is now for kids or what TikTok is now for kids, to being like one of the least watched things that they have. But Disney owns how many channels? Yeah, they own ABC. They own they FX. Own they FX, own National yeah. Geographic. They own, um, oh my gosh, a free form. They have ESPN. They have a bunch of stuff. So yeah, of course they're going to be watching some of it. But is it still worth more? No. Yeah, Disney said, contrary to their claims, we offered Charter the most favorable terms on What rates. are they? Please explain. Distribution. Show us what they were. Uh, we propose creative ways to make Disney's direct-to-consumer services available to their Spectrum TV Cre- subscribers. Creative ways. So they're trying to dictate how they can make Disney's stuff. So not only are they wanting them more money, they're giving them creative ways to make Disney stuff be more watched. Yeah. They said this includes opportunities for new and flexible packages where those services become a focal point of what the consumer might choose. Wait, they're trying to demand that you have to make Disney the focal point of one of your brand packages? Alluding to streaming services, Hulu and Disney Plus, Disney maintains that Charter is depriving consumers of that content because they're failing to ascribe any value in exchange for licensing those services. Because there's not much value in it? So they're going to like force everybody to do But you Hulu know what the kicker well. is? A lot of those people probably already subscribe to Disney Plus. Yeah, they do. So, so why would they pay, why would they do it twice? I, I don't know. I don't know. I think this is this, we're gonna see more of this. I'm expecting um, to see some more drama around YouTube. Uh, YouTube having live TV, which is kind of sneaking up on people because you know they've got NFL now, and mm-hmm. and uh, you know I'm I'm kind of waiting for that to be the another big showdown where it's like you know you can't be TV too. You're not allowed to be TV. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just Disney. I, I think just trying it's to like they were over. They sound like they were way over, like overstepping. Yeah. Like it's not just about when you say other places said it wasn't like a normal carriage deal. It wasn't just about raising the rates. It was like they they're demanding all these Disney focused bullshit. Yeah, I'd I, love to see them actually come out and say, "Here's what they wanted us to do." 
Yeah, I think that we'll get that as this goes on. If if it hasn't been out there, I haven't found it yet. But I do know there there were other articles out there where people are speculating that they think this is about either forcing forcing uh, Spectrum to pay a lot more money, which or, will be onto the consumers. Which yeah, which will pass on the consumers, and then what happens is Hulu becomes a much more attractive option, and then or uh, pushing consumers to just subscribe to ESPN Plus directly. So they don't lose. Well, you can sports. get like if you get Hulu plus live TV, you get like you get the you can get the ESPN and all that as a package. So they're trying to just make you just go to that. Oh, it'd be better. It'd be better deal for you just to go through us. So then their subscribers go up by tanking competitors. Yeah. So this is um this was a couple of days ago. This is uh this is what Charter Spectrum said. They said they want to blow up the Charter wants to blow up the pay TV bundle and Disney fight. This is not a typical carriage dispute. The cable giant said. Uh, it's prepared to move on from its video business. We've reached the point of indifference. So it sounds like this isn't going to end anytime soon. Um, they said it's been a long time coming. According to executives at the cable company, which has just shy of 15 million video customers, the two sides have been talking about a transformative deal for months, one that in their mind could help reinvigorate the pay TV bundle and provide a glide path away from the rapid erosion enveloping the industry. But if Disney and Charter can't cut a deal, the cable company says it's prepared to abandon it. So I think I think Disney's trying to force them into being like, yeah, we're gonna you're gonna bundle Hulu with your cable, you know, or something. It's, Why would you need Hulu with you your cable? That kind you of is redundant. Uh, so this is the Charter CEO. He said, "We're on the edge of a precipice. We're either moving forward with a new collaborative video model, or we're just moving on." This is not a typical carriage dispute. It's significant for Charter, and we think it's even more significant for programmers in the broader video ecosystem. So it sounds to me like they're like basically F you Disney. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, oh, here. You say Disney's uh, flagged at BSPN. You mean the channel that's done so poorly that you were in crisis mode and you had to remove a bunch of channels and fire a bunch of people to say to hit your goals? You mean that channel that's just, you know, oh, it's so unpopular. Yeah, right. Um, okay, here, here he kind of says it. Um, when I talk about glide path for Disney, it clears the way for ESPN to go direct to consumer in a way that's friendly and doesn't completely cannibalize their larger linear video revenues that they have. Sounds like Disney needs more, them more than they need Disney. Right. Uh, it also works for us because it creates a glide path for us to create new marketing channels for new types of video. We respect the quality product Disney produces and its management team, but the video ecosystem is broken. Uh, yeah, a lot of other people said that they're, they think Disney is basically just going to push everybody into Hulu and push them to ESPN when they can. Uh, and what they're going to do is if you know people aren't paying the, the whatever the, the rates are, whatever the terms are, um, you know, because it is kind of a weird situation. Think about it. like, hey, we offer ESPN, but we're also competing with you because we're also technically kind of like cable TV. Yeah. You know, so it is kind of a weird situation there. So what they're going to do is they're going to be like, well, we don't want people to choose cable over Hulu. So we're going to charge you so much that you're going to cost more than Hulu. Mm -hmm. So people are going to pick us by default. And then we're going to take ESPN and stuff away. So if they want it, they're going to have to come to us. And I, I have much. to wonder if they're going to get so desperate that they're going to be like, the only way you can watch Disney channels are as if you pay us for Hulu or some stupid Well, they already shit. have deals in other places with others. Like they they wait, what, held YouTube hostage a couple of years ago in yeah. other places. Oh, yeah, yeah. They held Usually YouTube. Usually when we hear this, sometimes it's Nickelodeon, but almost always it's Disney. Last couple of years has been Disney. Now, Nickelodeon, I remember they had that stupid ad with Dora the Explorer. And they're like, you're making Dora cry, you assholes. <laughs> How dare you? And they paid it because parents need a babysitter, right? But now it's like there's well, so no, many. Well, you know, the internet's so popular, they don't. Well, that's just it. I think that's what's going on here is, is like it's it's a freaking, you know, Mexican standoff because it's like. Who needs how, who? How, how culturally appropriate of you. We're not talking about the Blue Beetle. But you know what? Te <laughs> Technically, though, people are like, you can't say that. You're not Hispanic. And it's like, but your family is. I grew up in a mixed household. Yeah, I did. Um, I did. Uh, and it was it was less stereotypical than Blue Beetle. As I've, uh, right. It was very less understood. stereotypical than most of the stuff is presented. Uh, anyway, yeah, my brothers don't speak much Spanish, weirdly enough. They don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. There actually, there actually are a, a lot of uh, people of Latino descent that don't speak a lot of Spanish because, mm -hmm. you know, they grew up in America. They grew up in California, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, that's why things going on. That's why things going on here. But that, you know, we're going down. Right before, down. right before we have the, like earnings, the, call. the earnings call, the end of the quarter, end of the fiscal year. 
You know, this is going on. But what it sounds like to me is that they're, they're, they're trying to lay, lay it on thick, like, because everybody's trying against Disney, and immediately it bit them in the ass. They weren't expecting it to bite them in the ass, but their stock dropped immediately. And now they're hurt. I'm like, oh, it's not us. We're not the bad guys. It's not us. But the more you hear about it, it's like, it sounds like Disney's been trying to make demands that were yep. kind of overreaching. And then, you know, turning it off in the middle of things you knew were going to upset customers and then say, well, you didn't care about your customers. Well, that's, you know, pot or kettle there, Disney, because they were your customers, too, and you did it to them as well. You know, you would have looked better coming out of this if you're like, we made sure that you guys got to finish that stuff before we turn it off because we don't want to cut you guys off because we care about our customers where they don't. Now you just look like an asshole worse. Now you're just like a nasty pimple on an asshole. I mean, you just, people are pissed. It's it's a uh, asshole plus. Asshole plus. That's yes, right. you're subscribing to asshole plus. Well, it's been lately asshole minus, which is part of the reason that their stock is is, is tanking. Yeah. Well, people are pointing out that like Disney keeps bullying YouTube. They bully everyone. Yeah. They keep bullying everyone. Thing is, they don't have the power to bully like they used to because but used to be people would would well, I don't want to make Disney mad or they'd be like you know but Disney's Disney's a family company and Disney's about people and and now people know that's not true and now they're starting to stick it back to Disney. Yeah, it's one of the rare times where I'm against Disney and I don't even have Spectrum. Cable bundle system's broken. Yeah, I always thought it would make more sense to just do a la carte or do smaller packages or whatever. Because, I mean, we'd subscribe to cable and we'd be like, we watch like five of these channels. Why are mm. we paying for the other Well, we went to Hulu and then Disney got control. Same and it crap. literally went from $35 to like 90 now. Yeah. And it's a matter of a couple years. Yeah. So, anyway. Wonder why people don't want to pay Disney any more money. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to wrap this up? Yes. All right. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.